Don't you think this is beautiful? All the berries are ready to be harvested. But do you see any problem here? Monocropping. That is exactly what is degrading agriculture land in Rakhine State, Myanmar. If we continue growing rice at this pace, the land will lose all its fertility and we will not be able to farm on it anymore. In Rakhine State, around 83% of the population live in rural areas. They rely on farming and fishing as their main source of their livelihood. According to Food and Agriculture Organization 2018 Special Report, about 85% of the agricultural land is used for rice cultivation. I still remember when I was a child, I used to go to Paddy Free and Friend Billy Farm with my father, where I helped him with soil preparation and harvesting. I grew up in the small village surrounded by salty creeks and full of mango forests. At the back of my village, there is Mayu Mountain, once covered with many trees. As a child, I really enjoyed those moments and the simplicity of the rural life. In 2002, after high school, my parents sent me to Rangoon. There I came across Neat Nyaba Eco Village Farm School, where I learned about sustainable farming practice environmental conservation, and community development. After training, I became very conscious about environmental problems in my community. So, upon returning home, I noticed that the trees on the Mayut mountain is being cut down. The mangrove forests were disappearing. The number of the farmers who are abandoning their fallen is increasing day by day. They are going to Thailand, Malaysia, and China. Most of them are illegally. I constantly hear from our farmers that the paddy price is not good this year. We will not make any profit and even no cover with investment. So when I look deeper, I realize that there are multiple reasons for this. Number one. The soil fertility is going down as farmers have been following conventional farming practice and growing rice in the same land for many years. The continuously use of the chemical fertilizer and pesticide reduce the soil fertility. This less soil, this less fertile soil was hit by the high temperature in summer. And again in rainy season, this bare dry land was washed away into creeks and rivers with serene water. This yearly cycle made the land degraded and not fit for farming anymore. Number two, we don't have access to water in summertime for growing crops. Rakhine is the one of the state with the highest rainfall in Myanmar, but every year we face the effects of the water shortage due to lack of water harvesting infrastructures. Number three, the farmers, there is no direct and stable markets for them. To sell their products, they have to rely on markets in Rangon, Mandalay, and bordering areas, Thailand and China, which involve very high transportation costs. Number four, the farmers lack access to techniques, skills, and machineries in order to turn their raw materials into value-added products. For example, we produce a lot of mango in summertime, but it goes wasted. On the other hand, people buy mango juice and jazz, which come from the cities. On the top of all this, the military situation brings a lot of problems into my state, such as blocking road, waterways, and even cut off communication and food supplies. The fear of the bombs prevents our farmers from going into the field. 
these are the problems the farmers have been facing right now. Have been facing for many years also. My work at environmental organizations for nearly six years made me understand that young farmers have very potential to transform their land into the sustainable one. But I realized that the youngsters are not interested in farming because, on the other hand, there is negative connotation to farming. They more prefer to go in other countries and big cities in such a work. In 2019, I met with Venture from Myanmar and Dr. Johanna Garner from Australia. They were planning to run a permaculture fund in Myanmar in some way. When they asked me, I was very delighted to be a part of this initiative. This is how we develop the Pamirgasha Institute Myanmar. With support of the Dr. Johanna Garnan, we bought nine acres of land in Rakhai State to create the Pamirgasha Demonstration Fund and Training Center. The idea of the center is to empower young people and farming community in sustainable farming practice, such as permaculture design, agroforestry, ecological farming, integrated farming, environmental conservation, value addition, and so on. I personally believe that permaculture is not just way of farming, it's way of life. It is not only producing food and vegetable and making profit, but also learning and adopting how to coexist with nature, value diversity, reduce our energy consumption, recharge our groundwater, and make our human habitat more stable and sustainable. These are the main philosophy behind the permacultures. Let me show you how we can combat the petty fee in the demonstration fund. Firstly, we need to make observation of the fund and think of where we should put all the necessary elements for design. Then identify the most suitable place for water storage. Around the water pond areas, we can grow through trees and other trees to create the agroforest so that water retention is improved. And slowly we introduce the animals such as cow, chicken, and ducks, which will create additional income source for us. At the same time, they help us by using their dropping as a natural fertilizer. Then we grow the seasonal vegetable along with flowers to attract pollinators and the purpose of the best control. Yet we need rice, we need to eat rice, we need to grow rice in the certain areas, where again in summertime we can grow many crops and beans. It's related with a local contact so that it's enriched the soil nutrition. The design has to be created to support each other, make the energy efficient and system resilience. After some years, we don't need to too much rely on the human intervention. It will become the regenerating model with very less external input. Imagine such a system, maintaining good condition of soil, no wastage of water. The animals are eating healthy and happy with farming. There are forests giving out fruit, cooling shade in the summer. And why is all the birds and white animal species? And we give a timber for our shelter. Of course, we need time to transform the situation of the community, those who are facing many problems and challenges. But this is the best model for us, for our coexisting with nature. Let me put it this way. Nowadays, when a child comes to and say, 
I want to be a doctor. You want to say, good job, all the best, and encourage them to go and hear the people. But a child comes to you and say, I want to be a farmer. So do you think they will give a serious respect and encouragement? Okay, think about this way. What a farmer does much more a doctor does. The farmers, they have a power to heal our bodies with heavy and nutritious nutri food. At the same time, heal our nature and protect our environment with good agriculture practices. The practice of permaculture make this possible where we human what we nature harmoniously to heal our wounded planet. Thank you so much.